welcome to another jewelry making video brought to you by KeepsakeCrafts.net. Today I'm going to show you how you can take any two colors of seed beads and make this great blended multi-strand necklace. So to make this necklace we are going to use 6-0 seed beads. Uh, that just means that six of them will take up an inch. And what you're going to need is three 24 gram tubes of one color and the same three 24 gram tubes of another color. I've got this great turquoise mix and also this copper mix that I'm using today. You'll need six 36 inch pieces of bead stringing thread like Nymo. And then to finish your necklace you'll need a couple bead cones, a couple little four millimeter beads, two eye pins, a clasp, a jump ring, and a length of chain. For tools you'll need chain nose pliers, round nose pliers, wire cutters, scissors, a ruler, a needle threader, some super glue. You'll also need a funnel and a small extra dish. And then last but certainly not least the most helpful tool you'll need is this a bead spinner. If you don't know what a bead spinner is or would like to learn more, I've made a video reviewing a couple different types of bead spinners. So the first thing you'll want to do is take all six strands of your bead stringing thread and just gather them all together at one end and then tie them all together in an overhand knot. The next thing you'll need to do is decide which of your colors do you want on the sides of your necklace and which do you want in the center. I'm going to start with the copper beads and have those on the sides. So whichever color you want on the sides, you're going to add two tubes of those beads to your bead spinner. And then the bead spinner comes with these curved needles. And you're just going to find the end of one of your pieces of thread. And if you need to use the needle threader, go ahead and thread your needle. Then you're just going to put your needle in your bead spinner and thread on five inches of beads. And that's why you have a ruler right here so that you can measure all of your sections. So once you've done that, you're going to repeat to add five inches of this color of beads to each of your six strands of thread. So here are my six strands with five inches of beads on each. And so now what you need to do is use your funnel to put these beads back into the tubes. The next step will create our blend and our transition between the two colors. And you're just going to add one tube of each color to the bead spinner and maybe give them a little bit of a mix. And then repeat the steps adding five inches of this mix so you'll have ten inches total on each of your six strands of thread. Okay, so now I've got my mix of beads on. So I have five inches of just the copper, five inches of the mix. And now I'm going to take these mixed beads and just set them aside into a little bowl. And in the bead spinner, I'll add two tubes of my center color. And now I'm going to string on six inches of this turquoise onto all six threads. So I've finished stringing on my six inches of the turquoise beads and you can see the blend now. Here's the copper, here's the turquoise, and then here's the half and half and it mixes them together. So to finish your necklace, you're going to string on each strand another five inches of your mixed beads and then you'll finish up with another five inches of the color you started with. Here's a little chart that you might find helpful if you're finding this confusing. If we have two colors, A in my case is copper and B in my case is turquoise and AB is half of and half of each, this is our necklace. Five inches of color A, five inches of AB, six inches of color B, five inches of AB, five inches of color A. I hope that clears it up for you. So you just need to finish the stringing. Like I said, the next step is five inches of the mix and then finish off with five inches of whatever color you started with, in my case, the copper. 
So here we have all of our bead stringing done. The bead spinner really makes short work of adding all these beads to the bead thread. Another thing that can help speed things up is if you have the same number of needles as you have threads, then that will help save time threading and re-threading. So now to finish our necklace. So once you have them all gathered together, hold on to your threads and just give each one individually a tug and make sure that you have them all pulled up snug. And then grab one of your eye pins and use chain nose pliers to open it. Slide all of your threads into the eye pin and tie a knot. Use your chain nose pliers to close that eye back up. And then I'm just going to give this one more tie and then apply a dab of super glue just to make sure that these threads don't ever come undone. It's a good idea to just go do something else for five minutes and let your super glue dry completely before going on to the next step. Once your super glue is dry, you just slide your eye pin right into your bead cap, slide on a bead, give that wire a bend, about a 45 degree bend, right where it comes out of that bead, and then use your round nose pliers to make a loop. Use your wire cutters to trim that wire right where they cross. Straighten out that loop, close it if you need to. And then on this end, I'm going to add my piece of chain. So then once we have this end finished, we're going to finish the other end the exact same way. Then you just slide on the bead cone, the bead, make a loop the same way we did on the other side. And on this end, add your lobster clasp with a jump ring. And your necklace is done. So here's another look at the necklace we made today. Bead stringing is a lot simpler with a bead spinner. And this is a simple technique for combining any two colors of beads that you like. I hope you enjoyed this project and that you'll give it a try. If you like this video, please make sure you have subscribed to my YouTube channel so you'll see more like it. I upload two videos every week. Also, check out my blog, KeepsakeCrafts.net, where I have lots of creative endeavors going on. And there are two more jewelry making videos up on the screen you might enjoy trying. Happy creating. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. <music>